Hello, welcome back to Little Alchemist Helper. Mr. Andersam finally getting around to recording this video. Hopefully it will come out here. Well, obviously if you're watching it, it's already come out. But hopefully I'll be able to get this thing edited quickly because uh, I know this is, this is a video that you guys have been waiting for for quite some time. Um, so it's gonna be the Onyx combo card rankings and I'm just gonna go through them exactly like I did with the gold combo cards. And then if you want to stick around after that, I will go through all of the math behind how I, um, I came to these conclusions. But let's not waste any time. We'll get right into it. Um, we'll start with the one stars. There are a lot of them. There are more one stars than any other ranking that I, I put on there. Um, and these are almost all here because of their low combo counts. Um, the, the highest combo count on this list um, is really here because most of those combos are defense focused, but none of them have more than 83 combos. That's, that's the max. But I'll run through the list. It's uh, Ash, Bat, Elf, Fairy, Hammer, Holy Water, Snake, Sun, Vampire, Water Serpent, Werewolf, and Wolf. So things to note about this, you've got the Snake combo card here, that's the one with the most combos, but like I said, a lot of those are defensive focused, and so you're not going to get a lot of use out of it, especially like in Heroics, and it's going to be harder to use in the arena. Um, the other ones, the last three alphabetically, um, water Serpent, Werewolf, and Wolf. Now, these also make very few combos, but they can make some really strong ones. So, even if you get one of these one-star Onyx combo cards, definitely don't dust it. They're, you know, you can make the Diamond or the Onyx version of Claws or Hydrobot, and those are some of the strongest cards in the game. And you'd need one of these bottom, or not bottom, well, yeah, bottom of the list, last alphabetically cards in order to, to put that together. Um, and so it's, they're usable, but they're a lot harder to use. All right, next up is the two stars. There's only eight of these. Um, it's going to get smaller and smaller as we go up the list. Um, and these also kind of have the same problem as the one stars where they just don't make very many combos, but um, a higher percentage of the combos that they do make are going to be exceptionally strong. So that being said, the eight two stars are Angel, Chinchilla, Death, Horse, Prehistoric, Radiation, Time, and Tree. Now I can tell you of these, I only have two, and I'm pretty sure they're both in my Arena deck and in my Heroics deck, just because I don't have tons and tons of Onyx cards, and even the low star Onyx cards are going to outclass a lot of your, your gold combo cards, and, and so... It is, it is what it is. And then I also was able to fuse Angel. That's one of the ones that I use. I'm sure you've seen that in other videos. And so that really, really comes in handy, being able to have a fused Onyx card. But that being said, these are probably not ones you'll want to like spend a bunch of gems trying to pull out of packs. But if you get them, it's not the end of the world. Continuing on, we have the three stars. And uh, there's going to be seven of these. And that's Bear, Dragon, Fire, Golem, Poison, Toy, and Undead. Uh, probably, you know, these are the direct kind of middle of the pack ones. And they got kind of put here either because they make really, really good combos, but not a ton of them. That'd be like um, Bear and Dragon are kind of in that category where they make some fantastic combos, but it's just, it's not high enough to really put it up there as a high tier card, or they make tons of good combos, 
but they're or they make tons of combos but they're some of the weaker ones like fire it makes ash like I don't I don't even know how many times but ash is like the lowest card stat total card in the entire game and it just making that as an end result it just ends up weak and so fire kind of gets nerfed pretty hard because of how many things fire turns into ash which you know that's pretty true to life um so you'll see and then toy the other gold combo card you know with bear on this list that was originally like they just they don't quite have either the combos or the combos that they do have don't quite have the power to really make it to the top of the list so these cards are probably the most dissimilar out of the same star set anywhere on the whole list just because they kind of got put directly in the middle for various reasons up next is the three and a half stars that is or there's seven of them as well and that's demon earth insect life metal rainbow and water now these this is where they're starting to get you know good enough to consider going after um, I have rainbow I use that that's one of my favorite cards that I have um, I'm shocked that metal is this low um, but unfortunately being bronze originally it makes some just not that great uh, it makes sense so not that great combos in the end and that kind of end up ends up holding it back and like these are the first three and a half is the first time that any card breaks that kind of 100 combos barrier and almost all of these do with the exception of rainbow um, and rainbow just kind of it makes up for it and having tons of attack focused so really useful combos that it does make and so even though it's got by far the least it's only got 85 combos but you can use so many of those just all over the place I ended up bumping it up higher um, and then the rest of these are all in the 90s <coughs> excuse me or the 100s with demon topping it out at 104 oh excuse me water topping it out at 111 water's got the same problem as fire though where it ends up just making some pretty iffy combos and so it kind of gets you know even though it has tons of them it's not it's not up in there in that four to five star range all right now we're moving on to the good stuff for the four star onyx combo cards i this contains two of what i thought would be the five star but the math the math says otherwise and so i've got to eat crow here because i said that one of these cards would, would have been my favorite and it's actually first on the list alphabetically that is knowledge and with knowledge you've got magic monster spirit sword and wings and sword is another one that i thought would be five star um, all of these cards with the exception of spirit make over a hundred combos um, knowledge making 113 combos but just because of the way the math works out some of it makes a bulk of weaker combos compared to the things that we have higher up on the list I'm I was astounded when I actually sat down crunched all the numbers and I was you know you know I was I was disappointed because I told a lot of you guys that knowledge was gonna be like a pristine pristine onyx combo card and to be fair it is if you if I picked up a knowledge out of the heroics you know reward system I would still be ecstatic um, I've gotten sword and I was uh, I've gotten one sword from there and one sword from the onyx goblins both times ecstatic they're great super reliable cards um, but but you can always do better and so moving up four and a half slightly better all great choices definitely worth going after in the packs um, food science space void and wizard 
Um, and you'll notice I haven't actually said a bronze combo card <laughs> in either this or the four stars because there aren't any. And I, I was surprised to find that out. I thought that because of the the balancing that the bronze combo cards would keep up just as well as the silvers and the golds but it really seems like the the silver combo cards and the gold combo cards kind of take take it even when you translate them to onyx which that surprises me but i have let's see here i have two of these um they're in both or in every deck that i've made other than the free to play deck because they're great combo cards. Um, they're all pretty offensively focused, which is important. They all make over 100 combos, which is great. They all um, combo really well with the other free cards. So I know if you guys don't have a lot of other, you know, gold combo cards or other Onyx combo cards, these all combo great with the bronze and silver ones that you can get for free. Um, especially wizard wizard combos with like everything in the free-to-play realm it's fantastic uh, and so that's that's the four and a half so all we have left is the five stars and on that list is are you ready the best of the best you know I'm curious before you know what before I get this say you know, pause the video, let me know what you thought was going to be a five star. I mean, you should have a pretty decent idea based on what I haven't said, but a couple of these might surprise you. Um, all right, but I'll stop dragging it out. It's Knight, Leader, Sci-Fi, Strength, and Superhero. Now, the reason that these surprised me is because I don't have leader i don't have sci-fi and i don't have strength in either the gold or the onyx version i had no idea that these cards were so consistent so consistent fairly either attack focused or you know they split the difference um, you guys know that knight and superhero are are great they're in every deck as soon as you can get a hold get your hands on them you'll put those silver combo cards in your deck um, they all make, with the exception of Knight, they're all in the 107 combos range. Knight's only at 103, but like I said, it combos with like all of the free cards, just like Wizard does. So it's really solid to put into your deck for the same reason. Like, if you see these pop in the pack, it's it's going to be... They're hard to get with gems because there's only one versus four combo cards, so the odds of pulling one are really rare. But these are the ones that you'll want to save your gems for. Okay, so let's go through. Now, how did I, how did I actually determine this? Well, I did it two ways. The first is less less complicated, and it was um, recommended recommended to me by Tapdog, and I basically just took a full list of every combo. Um, and I gave it a point for being above 55, I think, and then two points for being above 60, three points if it was above 65, so on and so forth. And then I gave it a bonus point if it was with a freely acquirable card, which are the 10 event gold combo cards, and then all of the silver and the bronze combo cards. So, and then that gave me an average score kind of just uh, how strong and accessible are this Onyx combo cards uh, combos that it has and then I didn't just want to like multiply it by the number of combos that it made because then that's basically really really hurting the cards that don't make a ton of combos but make combos reliably so I did um, I did some math, so basically you would lose, it, it lost a, like a smaller percentage of that, that point the farther away it got from the max combo. Um, and I can share all of the math on like um, an Excel file if you want to see it, but it wasn't just a straight up, you know, you made 
80 combos, so that score that I talked about earlier was times 80, or this card made 112 combos, so it was that score times 112. It, it was a much more normalized set where that, the card that made 80 probably got it multiplied by around like 95, and then the one that made 112 got it multiplied by like 99. It, it might have been more diverse than that, I can't remember. I didn't, I can't remember what the exact spread was, but it's, it's a, it's a way to normalize a distribution, so it's less, less extreme. And then that gave me one set of rankings. I also created, um, the more complicated way, which is the way that I was doing it originally, had me create a whole bunch of fictional decks using my optimizer tool. Um, I selected five random premium cards, so all of the gold combo cards and all of the onyx combo cards. Um, I picked five. I added that to a library of the rest of the freely available cards, and I built a deck. And then I did it. I picked a different set of a seven new random cards and did that again, and then I did that with 9, and then I did that with 11, and then because I wanted to focus on um, the people who had somewhere between like 12 and 20, I started going up by 1, so I did it 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then I went back to just doing the odd numbers, I think. I don't exactly remember. So I created all of these random card selections to add to the standard deck or the standard library of free cards and I ended up with uh, like 20 something decks built out of the optimizer all with different card pools starting originally and then from there I replaced <coughs> the library with just a blank list of all of the onyx combo cards and let each of those decks or yeah, that were constructed, like, give me a general score for how well each combo card would work with that deck. So, it wasn't perfect, but it was a large enough distribution that it gave me a decent idea. And then when I, you know, I ranked all of the combo cards, my set against Tap Dog's set, which... Uh, that's just the easier way of do, thinking about it. The set that just gave a generic score um, versus the the set from the random decks. It was pretty close. It wasn't identical, but it was pretty close. And from there, I was able to kind of extrapolate out. And me and TapDog had a decent conversation over all of the data. And we moved some up and we moved some down. Um, and that's kind of where we fell with the final list. And then the caveat for this is he's working on a huge, huge list of backfield combos, and that's going to completely change this list. Um, not Maybe not completely, but it's definitely going to move some things around. Um, and so when that comes out, I'll probably redo both the gold combo card rankings and the onyx combo cards, because just any time you backfill... I think he's got close to like 300 combos that he'll be adding. It'll be great if he can get um, the folks over at Ginzilla to actually, you know, implement this into the game. I'm I'm super excited for it, um, but it's gonna it's gonna disrupt this rating system. But hey, that'll be another video for me to beat my head against the wall with for way too long. But that being said, by the time you see this video uploaded. It means I'm already working on something else, and so there shouldn't be too big of a delay for the next thing to be behind this. So, thanks again. Thanks to all of you who support the channel um, and keep the game going. I think that it's fantastic that this channel's here, growing, showing that the game's not dead. Because the game's not dead. You guys, you guys, and me and Tap Dog, and you know everyone on the Discord channel, we're gonna keep this thing alive forever. Alright, that's all I got. Thanks guys. Bye.